until heaven and earth pass away. Not one letter, not one little part of that could have passed from the law until all is accomplished. I tell you, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches other people to do so, that one will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them, that one will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you the truth, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees and the scribes, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard it said that you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to the judgment. But I tell you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the hell of fire. So when you present your gift at the altar, if you remember that a brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there at the altar and go. First be reconciled by your brother or sister, and then come present your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on your way to court with him, or he will turn you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison, and you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. You have heard it said, you shall not commit adultery. Well, I say to you that whoever looked at another woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye is causing you to sin, well, just tear it out and throw it away, for it's it's better for you to lose one of your members than, than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, well, cut it off and throw it away. It's better for you to lose one of the members of your body than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Now you have also heard it said, whoever divorces his wife, well, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, if anyone divorces his wife, except on the grounds of unchastity or unfaithfulness, he causes her to commit adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery also. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, do not swear falsely, but carry out the vow that you have made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, which is the throne of the Lord, or by the earth, which is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. 
And do not swear by your head, for you cannot change one hair, white or black. Let your word be yes, yes, or no, no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your cloak, give your coat as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go as well the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends his rain on the unrighteous and on the righteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you greet only your brothers and your sisters, what more are you doing than others do? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The, the word, word of God, God for, for the, the people. people.